Hello YouTube and welcome to your 18th Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be kind of building off what I did in the last tutorial, which is nesting loops. You can do this with for loops, you can do this with while loops, you can do it with do while, whatever you want. And so, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering nesting if statements. So let's just go ahead and um, create a couple of variables. So we'll do int, I don't know, int age equals 15 and let's just do bool insurance equals false okay so if you haven't guessed already I'm gonna be doing something similar to one of the tutorial tutorials I did before which involved the age of the driver and something else and it was really simple simple if statement but now we're gonna build off of that by nesting an if statement inside of the other one so we're gonna start off by creating an if statement so if age is greater than 16 then do whatever is inside these brackets so then if insurance equals equals true then it'll say see out you can drive legally and there's the end of that so what this does is if age is greater than 16 then go down in here and then if insurance equals equals true then see out you can drive legally so if age is equal to 16 and, insur and insurance equals true then you can drive legally so if we go ahead and run this nothing should happen you can see that nothing happened there and now if we change age to 16 to where one of the conditions is true age is oh wait we need to change that to greater than or equal to 16 but anyways it'll still have the same outcome it won't do anything even though one of them is true it won't move on to the inside of this if statement right here the only way it can get through that see out statement right there is if age is greater than or equal to 16 and insurance is equal to true. And you can see right here, it printed out, you can drive legally. So that's a pretty simple tutorial on how to nest if statements. If you've seen the last tutorial, this should be really easy for you. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to do much practice on it at all. Not really any. Um, but you'll notice that this isn't the most efficient way of doing it and there's a better method which is what I'm going to teach you in the next tutorial um, the reason I wanted to teach you this first is so that you could know how to do this and that it's possible to do this and in some cases you will you will use this method even though there is a better way to do it but that only applies to certain things so if you got this down, then go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.